everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all keeping safe and well and if you're new to my channel then hi my name is kate and i make videos about fashion lifestyle being a mum, interiors and also lots of organizational content as well so if that sounds like your kind of thing i would love for you to subscribe there is a box down there that you can click and it's completely free as some of you guys know, if you're following me over on Instagram or you've seen some of my recent videos, I'm really into organising at the moment. I love it anyway. I find it really like therapeutic and calming. Um, but especially at the moment, being at home all the time, I'm just itching to organise everything. Um, obviously, it's a little bit hard with my two little boys. So at the moment, my husband's looking after them and this may not all get done in one day because this is actually quite a big job. But I wanted to do my um, kind of, I guess, seasonal wardrobe switch over so i'm gonna take everything out of my wardrobe that is autumn winter and put it under the bed and get all of the spring summer stuff out um as you will see i have clothes in a few different places which i'll show you and go through it all and hopefully i'll feel a lot more organized and know what all of my outfits are obviously we're at home a lot so i'll be putting things into the wardrobe that maybe i wouldn't normally like more loungewear stuff so that i can grab it easily so i've done videos like this before as well as wardrobe clear outs which have actually been a little bit controversial so I'll chat to you a little bit more about that as I'm doing it um, and what I've kind of learned from that um, But yeah, let's just get straight into it and I'll show you basically what we're working with So first of all, this is our main wardrobe. I share it with my husband. We both have a side each um, It looks really really bad at the moment I'm just gonna show you. So that's his side Oh, I better just open it so you can see. <laughs> I'm going to hopefully get him up here to sort his out so that the whole thing looks better. Basically, just ignore all of this stuff. This side, top and bottom, is my stuff. So, as you can see, there's Christmas jumpers still in there. It looks a mess, just looks awful. Um, so, we really need to tackle that. Then in my office I have this rail. Now I usually use this to kind of film videos in front of and if I get anything new I'll put it on here but it's a huge mess at the moment. There's stuff on the rail and there's stuff piled up here um, which I really need to sort out, steam, put into categories, that kind of thing. So we've got the clothing in here as well. Then we've got this chest from Ikea which is basically where uh, Ricky folds all of his stuff, but I've very kindly been given the drawer at the bottom <laughs> Which again is a mess of bikinis pajama bottoms yoga pants that kind of thing And then finally if I can do it one-handed, which I probably can't bear with me one second under the bed Oh god It's all my out of season stuff some of it's out of the bags because we actually went away in February so I have worn some summery stuff this year already but it's mainly in these two bags we've got some coats over there and then there's some summer pyjamas there they're all Ricky's shoes and my shoes um, so that is everything that we need to tackle today and sort out I'm just going to start by tackling this one I think I'm just going to am I going to take everything out? Yeah, I'm just gonna take everything out because that's just the best way to have a clear mind and really think about what is going back in. And I thought I'd just quickly have a chat with you whilst I start this. Obviously, I will speed this up and won't make you watch me go through everything. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be a good chance to kind of just chat whilst I do this. I'm actually out of breath from getting things out of the wardrobe. That's what happens when you don't leave the house in a month. It's awful. Oh, I love this dress so much. I'm not sure if it's shrunk in the wash. That looks absolutely tiny now. We wore it, oh, we wore it, I wore it in the south of France last year. It was a Zara, it's a Zara dress and I just absolutely love it. I'm gonna just pop that there because I just really need to try that on. So I did a wardrobe clear out, last year it was, um, and I'm so, so lucky that most of the time, like 98% of the time, I don't get negative comments like I'm so so lucky I have such a lovely audience um, so I know that if I get quite a few negative comments all on the same thing I've kind of it's not trolls do you know what I mean like I've actually maybe messed up on something so I watched the video back so because basically what I did was went through my wardrobe and I was kind of like oh I've worn that once last year so I'm gonna get rid of it and watching it I do sound very kind of frivolous and it's it's not good to be honest um, 
and it really made me think about my attitude towards fashion because things have changed so much. So basically I started doing this 10 years ago and if you watch the beauty guru videos from back then or fashion, it was all about who could have the most, who could have the biggest makeup collection, the most clothes. And then it was very much like you wear, this was just what general life was like, I think when I was a teenager as well. Like you wouldn't be seen dead in the same outfit at a party, like two, the same outfit at two different parties. It just wouldn't happen. But I think things have changed so much um, in recent years because people are more concerned about the environment and global warming and everything as we rightly should be. And things towards, attitudes towards fast fashion are changing, which is brilliant. Um, but maybe I hadn't quite caught up with that yet because my mentality was still very similar. Even though I have made steps to change over the years and I do buy less, obviously I still purchase a lot of clothing because it's part of my job. So I'd never expect like a normal consumer to buy as many clothes as I do, but even I don't buy half the stuff that I used to. And my purchases are a lot more um, considered before I buy stuff now. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to address it and say, like almost an apology really because I, I listen to you guys and when a big group of you say that I am wrong then there's a reason for that I should have said more is things like I buy an outfit and then I love it but then I realized it doesn't actually suit my body shape now because over the last five years my body shape has changed multiple times because I've had two children so I'll buy a dress that I would have loved the style of a few years back and then I put it on and I'm like oh yeah I don't have any boobs anymore so I can't really wear that and now it's too late to take it back and so that happens a lot or things get shrunk in the wash so much so I'm trying to be more mindful of how I take care of my clothes and things like bobble and age so again I'm trying to do things like use the debobbler and just care for things more. Like this dress, for example, I love this dress so much. And I think once upon a time I would have thought, oh, it's quite, um, you know, it's like a loud pattern. So if I wore that more than once, somebody would know, but it doesn't matter. Like I've worn this dress multiple times now and people are still like, oh, I love your dress. You know, who cares if you wear it 50 times? That's good price per wear, isn't it? So yeah, anyway, run over, learnt my lesson grim as a person from it <laughs> um, and yeah just thought I'd have that chat with you really so probably gonna listen to where's my phone listen to the greatest showman and crack on with this lot really <laughs> so where we're at so far I've basically put everything back in that was already in the wardrobe but that I want to keep out for spring and summer taking everything out that needs to go under the bed which is a lot there's so much like autumn winter stuff there I've got all my jeans over there because I need to try them on because again I wear jeans a lot and sometimes they end up like going out of shape or again getting shrunk and getting too short so I might not be able to keep them all um, but I want to try them on to make sure which ones I want to keep. What I'm going to do now before I have to tackle under the bed which is a bit I'm dreading um, is go in and get everything from my office so that hopefully it can all be kept in here for now. So the reason this is all kind of in a pile and it's such a big mess is because when I did our big loft clear out, which you might have seen a few weeks ago, um, I had quite a lot of spring, summer and holiday clothes up there. So I got all of the stuff that I wanted to keep out and then I just haven't had a chance to do my clothes so I thought I'd leave it for when I'm doing it all. So some of this stuff is a bit like in a bit of a mess but I'm going to steam everything and again organise it all.
now the office is completely clear, um, I've still got quite a bit to do. I'm about to tackle under the bed, which is the worst bit, the bit I've been putting off that I should have probably done first, but I kind of needed to get everything else out of the way. I've got all my jeans down here, which I need to sort through. Then over there, <laughs> I have uh, winter and autumn winter clothes. I'm going under the bed now, but everything is out of my office. So I feel like I'm making good progress. So looking at these already, I have already put some wintry stuff away, but how I'm gonna get all of that in here, I don't know because obviously it's much bulkier than summer stuff. you're joining me a few days later I don't know if I said this at the start of the video but we have to do everything in little bits and bobs because of the boys Rick's been sorting out the shed today so I've just been able to come and finish off the wardrobe um, so I've done it over quite a few days but I'm going to show you where we are at and as I've been doing this I've been having a lot of plans and thoughts which I'll talk you through in a second um, yeah let's have a look at the finished result before you just switch off and think, well, that doesn't look very good. That's not very aesthetically pleasing, Kate. <laughs> Ricky's not sorted out his side. So these are basically all of the clothes that I own that I want to hang. The rest are just pyjamas, underwear, socks, that kind of thing, and some stuff in another drawer, which I'll show you in a second. So there is a lot of stuff there, but not compared to people that have walk-in wardrobes and stuff. But it has obviously become very apparent that this is just not the best way for us to be storing our clothes. So we've come to the conclusion that we really need to sort out our wardrobe and also some kind of dressing room. So basically this is quite a large space and it would make a really good size wardrobe for one person. So if you imagined, for example, this was my wardrobe, um, none of Rick's stuff was in here and we got it fitted out with um, some Ikea packs wardrobe like the insides the carcasses I guess not the doors because we have the doors so what I'm thinking is down here I'm gonna do um, a whole long section for dresses and then maybe have a few drawers at the bottom because they're not that long obviously they only go to about there and um, so that much of the bottom of that side could be drawers and that's going to be like a 50 centimeter cabinet I've been having a look on the website and then on this side there's enough space for about a hundred centimeter cabinet so what I would do here is probably have a full rowel along the top all the way up to about like about two-thirds of the wardrobe um, would be all of my like tops along the top and then along the bottom I would have quite a few drawers and then a thin drawer at the top so in the drawers I would probably put all of my jeans and trousers and maybe even t-shirts because I don't feel like all of this needs to be hung I think a lot of it could actually be folded and then I would be able to see exactly what I've got as well so I think that would work better um, and then along the top I want a thin um, accessory drawer so I think that would be really really nice and that would make this space look so much better so then I'm in what we just call the walkthrough room because well, I'll show you in a minute. I've shown you guys before, but it's a really awkward space because it has doorways to different rooms in it. So it's not just a room on its own. So basically you come in from the hallway and it's a really good sized room, but it's really difficult to use it for much because it's a through room into our bedroom and into the office in there. Um, so what we've basically used it for is clothes storage, the clothes horses in here, there's the airing cupboard which is open because I'm 
about to start clearing all of that out so it's good that you can actually see in there and then also some old furniture that we're gonna sell um, but it's still sitting here so basically I was racking my brains for ages of what I could do to this room and I think I finally worked it out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a big wardrobe built in here so whether it's a PAX one that we then custom to that like, kind of look like a built-in or what I don't know maybe my dad can magic something up but what I'm thinking is a 100 centimeter wardrobe a really tall one here and then dad if you're listening um, where there's the gap I'd love to have like a thin cupboard um, maybe that it doesn't look like a cupboard maybe it doesn't have a handle and you just click it to open it up it's just very thin at the side and that stores the clothes horse and also the ironing board how good would that be so that would look really good I'd like to get shutters there and then we can still have the clothes horse out in here when we need to dry clothes that wouldn't really be a problem um, and then we did let me open this um, door and then we did look at the idea of knocking this cupboard out and building it right out so again you could maybe have a full length wardrobe in here but there's actually pipes here so I don't know that's probably really hard to do so we maybe wouldn't do that we do still need an airing cupboard so we maybe would get this fitted out better and then in here we would maybe have like a bookcase style thing built but for shoes and bags so you can imagine it would go all the way up with shelves for shoes because we just have no shoe storage so that would be tucked away behind the door maybe even have a door on it itself so it was like closed and um, that would be really good and then finally this wall here is really annoying because it would be a great long wall for wardrobes but because the doors are coming off it you can't do that so we're gonna have either this unit here which I think is an Ikea Hemnes unit or a lower um, Hemnes unit here to store like fold away clothes as well so some of mine might still be in there but I'm gonna aim to try and keep all of mine in the bedroom um, but they probably will come here let's be fair so there'd be like a unit here with a mirror above it so that would look really nice as well we did just want to put this one on this wall but we're not sure how if it will look like too imposing when you walk into the room because I'm assuming it would probably come out to about here and like be up here so I don't know but it's all good like we've got some ideas for it now um, and it will be such a better use of this space that we have just kind of neglected for two years so I'm really excited to do it when we'll be able to do that I don't actually know but in the grand scheme of things it's not that important but it'll be really nice to do it when we finally can I'm really glad that I did this wardrobe switch over because now I have all of my summer dresses out that I've been just wearing around the house and it just makes me feel more happy I think and also it's just been really good to get those plans together to get some ideas some inspiration so that we know what we can do so eventually our clothes will be organized better um, and it's just going to improve the house as well so that was really good i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you got all the way to the end and you're not subscribed i would love for you to go and click that subscribe button it's just down there it's free um, and it will mean that you will be updated when I make more videos just like this and also a thumbs up is always really appreciated as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you again very soon. Bye guys!